All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking about real issues on this video and doing it in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. So I've made an observation about the difference between Taylor Swift and Donald Trump. All right, maybe you picked up on this. So I got these messages um, yesterday. Taylor Swift's uh, run of shows in Vienna, Austria, has been canceled after two men, one alleged with ties to ISIS, were arrested in connection to a terror plot targeting one of the shows, according to a concert promoter, reversing an initial decision to continue the concerts with increased security measures. <laughs> so, um, you know, rather than going forward and uh, having the concerts, uh, they've decided to cancel. Now, you may say, well, Dave, you know, ISIS, that's a big deal, right? Yeah, it's a lot bigger of a deal and a much more sophisticated network of people who are out there trying to do harm to certain people, ISIS, than some dude who failed shop class and cl uh, climbed up on the roof and took a shot at President Trump. I mean, you'd think it would be a lot easier to um, subdue the guy who is by himself. And now there's all kinds of conspiracy theories that, you know, he was allowed to go up there and do that stuff because, again, it was a huge failure. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, no problem, though, uh, keeping Taylor Swift safe here. Concert promoter Barracuda Music said in a statement Wednesday, that the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday shows are canceled due to law enforcement confirming a planned terrorist attack, noting tickets will be automatically refunded. Now, how do they know that for sure? How do they know that for sure? Well, they may not know that for sure, but they may be taking precautions because that's what you do. When there's a possible threat, you cancel things. You don't just send the president up there He'll be fine. It's great. There's some guy with a gun. Don't worry about it. Anyway, one of the arrested men was a 19-year-old who allegedly pledged allegiance to ISIS, according to the Associated Press, citing Vienna State Police Director Franz Ruff. <laughs> great name for a police director. And Police Chief uh, Gerhard Perstel. Okay, I may have butchered that. Ruff said both suspects are believed to have been radicalized on the Internet. OK, so they had figured this out even before they got to the venue to target Taylor Swift. The two suspects allegedly had specific plans for carrying out the terror plot with law enforcement finding chemicals and substances at one of their homes. Though it has yet to be determined if the substances could have been used to create an explosive, according to NBC News. Now, that's interesting. They're not even sure if these substances could be used to, you know, blow up Taylor Swift. But they decided to take precautions. Makes sense to me. Don't have a problem with any of this. I'm glad they're protecting Taylor Swift, but they seem uh, to be protecting Taylor Swift in a more aggressive way than they are when it comes to Donald Trump. The three shows were initially set to go on, albeit with heightened security, including bomb squads, heavy weapons teams, canine units, and tactical vehicles, according to NBC. Now, we all know that Taylor Swift is really good for the economy. We, we've been hearing that over and over again, that she's a one-woman wrecking crew when it comes to... Um, you know, creating more GDP. This was actually a news story that Taylor Swift is important to GDP. Now, I'm not sure uh, if she's as important if she's over in Austria, but I'm thinking she's contributing to the world economy. And because we're all a bunch of globalists now, you know, tied together with uh, the same stupid policies around the world in most places, it's essential that Taylor Swift uh, do her shows. But in this case, they just didn't want to take a risk because they don't want to lose their cash cow here. And so they're protecting their you know GDP here by uh, canceling the shows. It's a short-term loss, but it will be a long-term gain 
And yes, the only time you really worry about terrorists is when they're going after a celebrity, when they're when they're about to, you know, take out Taylor Swift. And then it's all hands on deck. Former president of the United States. Yeah, not a big deal. I've heard people downplay the whole Trump assassination attempt afterwards and say, I just got nicked on the ear. And we don't even know because now his ear looks completely fine. We don't even know if he was it was staged. The whole thing was staged. Okay, so the guy who got killed there, the fire, the firefighter who got killed, that was staged. And the two people that got seriously uh, wounded, that was staged, too. huh? Oh, okay, All right. Whatever. Whatever. You know, see, the world right now is so crazy and the information is is so upside down, like you don't know what to believe anymore. But I read this and I was like, wow, they're going after Taylor Swift. Now, a little side note here, something that no one else is probably going to say. Why do you think this is the same reason, by the way, that they targeted the World Trade Center on 9-11? It's, it's not because we're, I don't know, We it's the reasons given, like they hate our freedom and stuff like that which has been the thing they say over and over for 20 years. Um, they don't like our culture. Can I just say that? They don't like what our culture is all about because we're exporting things like Taylor Swift. We're exporting pornography. We're exporting the stuff you saw during the Olympic opening ceremony. I mean, we're right there with those people. The most people here in the United States weren't. Uh, Garth Brooks just talked about how it was great. It was artsy. It was good. I liked it, you know? So this particular, if you want to call it a religion, um, they they don't look kindly on our behavior. And I think that's part of it. I mean, she's an icon. She's the epitome of American excess and the vacuous and vapid entertainment that we put out there. And, and people praise this woman like she's the greatest performer, uh, I mean, Rick Beato did a video about how there are people who think she's bigger than the Beatles. She may be bigger than the Beatles in some respects. She's not better than the Beatles, all right? This is a cultural retreat. And these people, in addition to hitting us in a way that would hurt our GDP, according to economists and political commentators, to not have Taylor Swift out there would be a blow to millions of people who um, live for things just like this and nothing else. Like their life doesn't have meaning unless they go see Taylor Swift or not having Taylor Swift out there, you know, would be very uh, traumatic for a lot of people. And it, it's sad. It's sad that we now take better care of celebrities and I'm not saying Trump isn't a celebrity, too. He is partially a celebrity. But it's interesting how we couldn't stop a 20-year-old. But um, with with really just, if you look at his background, which, by the way, not a lot has come out on that guy. Uh, you would think you would know everything about him, you know, like down to when he was like two years old in the crib. You know, something something seems a little bit weird there. That's all I'm going to say. But this part about, um, you know, getting these terrorists, which is a lot more complicated. Foiling a terrorist plot is a lot more complicated than stopping a lone wolf 20-year-old shooter. So anyway, um, I figured I'd give you my two cents on this. It's it's sad. And obviously, I want Taylor Swift to be safe and just bring her back home. She's too important to the uh, GDP. And uh, terrorism is a thing. And it's not helpful that we don't have any foreign policy either right now. It's not helpful. There's no diplomacy. There's endless war. We need to find a way not to make people ticked off at us. And yes, uh, this is a radical, small sliver of a religion that I don't agree with, but not all of it wants to, you know, do terrorism on people. In fact, the vast majority of it uh, just wants to be left alone, like most human beings. They just want to live in peace. And uh, we're not pursuing that right now. We are pursuing endless conflict, endless drama, 
And I think people are just getting tired of it. I mean, it's drama fatigue, like I often say. All right, so here's an album you should check out. Jeff Larson, it's called Adobe Home. Uh, this has just a, a very nice, peaceful, quieting spirit to it, and you should check it out if you like that type of music. Adobe Home, living in an Adobe Home somewhere in the desert southwest. Uh, sounds like a decent life. I think I would need air conditioning and lots of it, though. So thanks for watching. God bless everyone. Pray for peace around the world. Pray for your neighbors. Um, pray for everything. Pray without ceasing, because our lives at this stage, I think, really depend on praying and then following up with good deeds and actions to help those people in need.